Bladder stones occur when minerals build up in a person's bladder, forming small stones. Mostly affecting older males, they can cause pain and discomfort. Small bladder stones often pass naturally, but larger ones may need treatment. Bladder stone symptoms. Bladder stones may not produce symptoms straight away. But, if the stone irritates the bladder, symptoms can include 1. Discomfort or pain in the penis. 2. More regular urination or a stop-start flow. 3. Taking longer to start urinating. 4. Pain in the lower abdominal area. 5. Pain and discomfort when urinating. 6. Blood in the urine. 7. Cloudy or abnormally dark urine. Bladder stone causes. Bladder stones start to grow when urine stays in the bladder after a person urinates. This is often due to an underlying medical condition that stops the bladder from completely emptying. In addition to kidney stones, which can move through the ureters and cause a blockage, other causes of bladder stones can include 1. Neurogenic bladder. If the nerves that run between the bladder and nervous system are damaged, such as in a stroke or spinal injury, the bladder may not empty fully. 2. Enlarged prostate. If the prostate is enlarged, it can press on the urethra and cause a disruption in urine flow, leaving some urine in the bladder. 3. Medical devices. Bladder stones can be caused by catheters or other medical devices if they move to the bladder. 4. Bladder inflammation. Urinary tract infections or radiation therapy can leave the bladder enlarged. 5. Bladder diverticular. Pouches can form within the bladder. 5. If the pouches grow to a large size, they can hold urine and prevent the bladder from emptying fully. 6. Sister seal. In people with a vagina, the bladder wall can become weak and drop down to the vagina. 6. This can affect the flow of urine from the bladder. 7. Dehydration. Not drinking enough fluids can cause minerals to build up in the bladder instead of being diluted and removed through the urine. 8. Augmentation cystoplasty. This procedure, in which bowel tissue is attached to the bladder to enlarge it, may cause some urine to remain in the bladder. Complications. Although some bladder stones do not produce any symptoms, they can still lead to complications if they are not removed. The two main complications are 1. Chronic bladder dysfunction. This can involve frequent urination that is painful and uncomfortable. 1. Sometimes, bladder stones can completely block urine from exiting the body. 2. Urinary tract infections. Repeated infections can occur. Tests and diagnosis. Diagnosis of bladder stones can include a number of different tests. 1. Physical exam. A doctor might place their hands on a patient's lower abdomen to feel if their bladder is enlarged. 1. If the patient has a prostate, the doctor may examine the rectum to check if the prostate is enlarged. 2. Urinalysis. A urine sample might be tested for signs of blood, bacteria, and crystallized minerals. 3. Spiral CT scan. CT scans combine multiple X-ray images to build a detailed image of internal organs. 4. Ultrasound. This type of scan creates an image by bouncing high-frequency sound waves off of internal organs. 5. X-ray. A healthcare professional may order an X-ray, but not all types of bladder stones show up on an X-ray. Treatments. If bladder stones are caught when they are still small, simply increasing the amount of water the individual drinks can be enough to pass them naturally. If the bladder stones are too large to pass in the urine, treatment normally involves either breaking them up or removing them by surgery. Breaking up bladder stones. 
In a procedure called systolotholopaxy, a doctor inserts a thin tube with a camera on the end into the urethra, the opening found at the end of the penis or above the vagina. The doctor can view the stones through the tube and break them down. The doctor will use a laser, ultrasound, or small tool to break up the stones before washing or vacuuming them away. This procedure is carried out under anesthesia. Complications from systolotholopaxy are rare but can include tears in the bladder wall and infections. Surgical removal. If the stones are too large to break down using systolotholopaxy, surgery is an alternative treatment option. The surgeon will enter the bladder through a cut in the abdomen and remove the bladder stones. Any surgical procedure comes with some risks, so systolotholopaxy is always the first choice when possible. Prevention. Because a range of medical conditions can cause bladder stones, there are no specific ways to prevent them. However, if a person experiences any unusual urinary symptoms, it is best to get a healthcare professional's opinion earlier rather than later. Unusual urinary symptoms may include 1. Pain 2. Discoloration 3. Blood Drinking plenty of fluids will help break down any developing stones. Experts recommend drinking at least 8 cups of water a day. Some people with urinary tract infections may feel like there is urine left in the bladder after urinating. In these cases, it is best to try urinating again 10 to 20 seconds after the first attempt. This is called double voiding and can help prevent stones from forming. If you are new at our channel, please subscribe our channel, it will be great support for us.